Okay. So if you remember last time we uh, saw this, okay, the behavior of uh, this different frequencies related to the seismic response. Okay. Now, if you understand this point, I know the behavior of different frequency objects. So different frequency means, see every equipment or building will have its natural period, right? With uh, which a natural frequency with which it will be vibrating. Okay. And reverse of that is the time period. So we can say whether in terms of time period or in terms of frequency we can define. So every equipment will have its own frequency. Okay. Which depends upon the length of that equipment, mass of that equipment. Okay. Now, how the same object will behave or respond to a seismic acceleration. Okay. That depends upon the time period or the frequency of that equipment. Okay. That is what we, uh, you know, shown by this video. I'll just play it again for you. I'm moving this uh, table, like table is representing here the earthquake movement. Okay. And slowly that frequency of that acceleration, we are increasing. Okay. Now we have four equipment with different frequency. Okay. So if you see the previous slide, This, the longest one is having the frequency, which is the lowest. Okay. It is representing the lowest frequency. Next is this one. Okay. It's having frequency denoted by F2, which is more than F1. Okay. F3, both of these two equipments are with same frequency, which is F3. Okay. Now we are just trying to study what is the relation of this frequency of that equipment and the table. Okay. Right. If we are moving this table with one of the frequency, how the different frequency equipments are behaving or responding to that frequency. Okay. That is what we want to study here in this video. Okay. So now you remember this F1 is the lowest. Okay. F2 is more than F1 and F3, which are both equal, but they are more than F1 and F2. Okay. So slowly I'm, I will be increasing the frequency of this table and we'll see how the behavior of these four equipment are changing based on the frequency of this table. Okay, all are vibrating. See now at this point, the you can see that at this point, I've just stopped it. So at this point, the frequency of chair is matching with the frequency of this longest equipment. Okay. So you can see that it is vibrating very violently. Okay. When the frequencies are matching, we know that the resonance is created and because of that, it is vibrating a lot. Okay. You can see that. Now I, I keep on increasing the frequency. Okay. Now at this stage, the frequency of that table is now matching with the second one. Okay. Which is having slightly more frequency than this. Now you see the behavior of this. Okay. 
it is now resonating with the frequency of this chair and it is vibrating violently. I further increase the frequency. Okay, now it is matching with these two. Now you see the behavior. Okay, is it making sense, guys? What we are trying to do? See, uh, don't try to empty your head, okay, with whatever you know about seismic. What here we are representing, you know, the finally seismic is seismic activity is what? Seismic is finally a vibration of our earth with certain frequency, isn't it? Making sense, guys? Yes, yes. So if earth is vibrating, the surface on which my equipment or building is there, if the surface which is represented here by table, if that is vibrating, how our building or equipment will vibrate, that depends upon Please guys, fill up the blank. That will depend upon. Shall I repeat the question? It is supposed to be an yes, active session. Okay. So if you are uh, sitting at isolated location where uh, there is no noise, you can keep yourself unmuted. Okay. And uh, we'll try to have it uh, in kind of discussion. Okay. We'll study kind of discussion. Okay. So. What I was asking that if my equipment or building definitely they are located on earth, right? Earth here is represented by the table. So if earthquake happens, how much damage it will do to my building or the equipment that will mainly depend upon Frequency. frequency and frequency. time period. Yeah, frequency or the time period of my building <laughs> or the equipment. Yeah. Right? So if the frequency of my equipment and the frequency of the earthquake is matching, then resonance will happen. Isn't it? Yes. And then, yes. even though my building is rigid, okay, now you can, you consider that phenomena, you know, uh, we are not talking about strength-wise. Higher frequency does not denote that my building is having very good strength, right? So it is just the question of matching the frequency. If the frequency matches with the frequency of that earthquake, then it is going to vibrate violently. Now it will fail or not. That will depend upon the strength which I have provided, right? There are two things now. One thing is the time period or the frequency of my equipment or the building, right? And the second thing is the strength of that building. So okay. if I provide very good strength, but it is uh, matching with the frequency of the earthquake, which may happen at that location, then the damage chances are still higher, isn't it? So the first thing I can do to avoid damage is to calculate the time period or frequency and keep it away from the supposed earthquake, which we know we have the history of that uh, location, right? Uh, that is maintained. So we know that which kind of earthquake, which frequency of earthquake will happen at that location that is known. Okay. If I keep the frequency of my equipment or building away from that, then I'm in relatively safer zone, isn't it? First yeah. activity I've yeah. already done, right? See, it is going to be, it is going to vibrate. That is for sure. But it is going to vibrate violently or not. That will depend upon the resonance, right? Making sense, guys? Yes. Yeah. Great. So if you understand this point, then, you know, half of the battle for seismic is won. If this is the point where uh, we feel, you know, really difficult, you know, to digest. You might have seen this uh, seismic 
response spectra multiple times. Okay, now I'm going to come to that graph. You might have seen this graph, isn't it? No, one more point I want to just ask. Yeah, please go ahead. Say, uh, yeah, when you are considering this uh, frequency, mm -hmm. but if sometimes it goes more than above the expected frequency, yes. will there be any contingency will be there in the basic design or it will fail once it exceeds that uh, frequency range? See, now there are two different. See, now you are saying that if the frequency of earthquake increases, yeah, that is what you are saying, right? So now, yes, yes. What? Yeah. So that Correct. means you have not understood what we just represented. No, no. Now I I understand what you are saying. Mm -hmm. What is my question is that it depends upon the zone. We are going to consider that uh, frequency that this zone is having this much of frequency. In case all, all of a sudden, no, no, that, that is not that simple. Okay, I am not talking about the zone. I will come to that. You know, the earthquake is okay. not that simple. We have just covered the first part. Okay, so uh, I'll just ask the same question in very simple terms, in the terms which we have uh, just now saw up to that point. So, and let us see whether you guys can respond. Okay, so if I ask, I just uh, rephrase what Padmanabhan has asked that if I keep on increasing the frequency of that table. Whether that is going to be more damaging? No. Why? Because the time period and frequency of that table will not be same with that building or equipment. Correct. So that is that is the exact point which uh, I wanted to highlight. Okay. So it is not the high frequency which is damaging Padmanabhan. Okay. What is okay. damaging is the resonance okay now you see uh, just observe this first one okay i'll just play this video again that's why i said this uh, short clip you know this even two minutes of discussion what we are doing that is going to clear uh, lifetime learning you know which we all have this misconception i i also have faced lots of issues you know to understand what exactly is happening in you know so now let us see this uh, the tallest one, which is having the smallest frequency. See how it is vibrating. Okay. Vibrating slowly. Now it is vibrating very violently. Mm -hmm. See that too much violently. Now I have increased the frequency. So now the vibration has gone down. Padmanabhan, you see that? Yeah, okay. I got it. Got it, right? So now frequency is more, but it does not matter to this because now it is, the resonance is not happening, right? So it, it is not affected by the frequency of my table. Frequency. Right? It is just vibrating with its natural frequency. Yeah, See, okay. now these two are vibrating valence. So that is the exact point we want to, so that it is not the frequency, but the resonance of it, you know, the matching of it. If my earthquake matches with the frequency of my equipment, that is going to be harmful. 